Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everyone. Everything's back to normal finally, so I have a nice treat for you. It is a new, completely arted villain deck from Paul Malco. That's how you say his name, Malco. The Tyrannodon of the Dino Mafia. His profile says, In the 1920s, Don Dino Pietro clawed his way to the top of organized crime in Union City. His crew was brutal, lethal, and they were inadvertently aided by the new vigilante the Green Death, mercilessly gunning down rival mobs on the east side and in Hangman's Lane. And Don Pietro saw the threat of the Green Death and needed a way to hedge his bets and protect the empire he'd built. That opportunity came when Professor Sorozinski tested his dino serum on Vito Stegetti, turning him into Vito Stego. Don Pietro and his men raided Sorozinski's lab and captured the diminutive scientist. With a single injection, Don Pietro was transformed into the Tyranno Don. Locked in a lab, the mobsters forced the professor to make more and more of his serum until the crew became a full-fledged dino mafia. For over a decade, the dino mafia ruled the Union City underworld with a scaled fist. Now your heroes can take up the fight and try to bring down the criminal empire of dinosaurs. And if you thought there were going to be a lot of dinosaur puns in this deck, you'd be right. It's a real treat. Facing the Tyrannodon, I've got a brand new variant for Cypher, Swarming Protocol. I haven't tried him out yet, but I'm very excited. I've got Extreme Prime Warden's Captain Cosmic because it's Extreme Averse this week, and he's the only Extreme variant I haven't played yet, and that's surprising because he's my favorite. I've also got Berserker Knight and Rook City Wraith. And we are fighting in Blackwood Forest. Who knows how that will turn out. But the Tyranno Don starts with one mobster and two gangsters. Our mobster is Big Polly T-Rex. End of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP. X melee damage, where X is 15 minus the current HP of this card. And he's got 12 HP, so you have to take him out in one round or leave him alone. And the Raptor Gangsters say increased damage dealt by this card by one for each other Raptor Gangster in play. End of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the second lowest HP, one melee damage. Whenever there are no other dinosaur cards in play, flip Tyranno Don of the Dino Mob. Mafia's character cards. Start of the villain turn, put one gangster from the villain trash into play. The first time Tyrannodon would be dealt damage each turn, redirect that damage to the dinosaur target with the lowest HP. So he's hard to hit on this side, but he also doesn't do anything extra, other than keep a steady stream of raptors coming at you. So I think that's all we need. It's time to get started. With a warehouse ambush. Ongoing. Increased damage dealt by dinosaurs by two. Oh, that's not what we needed at all. Start of the villain turn, destroy this card. So it's only the last one round, but it's going to hurt. Big Polly hits the highest for five. That'll be the knight. And then, oh, the raptors are going after the second lowest. Their base damage is two. That goes up to four. They're going to hit Cypher and the knight. Okay, so this Cypher's power is Nano Cloud. Play a card face down next to a hero. Until leaving play, it gains the keywords Augment, and text this hero is augmented. Draw a card. Very cool, because, you know, Cypher's only got five Augments, and you need to have Augments in play to do your stuff, and sometimes getting them is a real pain in the butt. I'm going to start with Rapid Prototyping. Draw two cards. Play any number of Augments from your hand. Well, I've only got the one, but that's fine. Who can use an additional power? Probably Wraith, even though she can do that herself. So she gets the Fusion Aug, and she is augmented now. All right, I'm going to use Nano Cloud. Let's see what I want to draw. Probably Cyborg Blaster. Okay, so I'm going to turn that into an Aug. I guess I'll put it on Captain Cosmic. And he draws two cards. That's nice because that means you're not wasting cards per se on uh, turning them into augments. All right, Captain Cosmic is. I think I'll throw a Wounding Buffer on the Wraith. And let's see. Okay, we're not going to be able to take down Big Polly this round. So I think it would be better if we concentrated on the Raptors. All right, so he will use Play with Madness and hit this one for one. And the wounding buffer hits it for one card. The knight will use heavy swing and drop this other raptor, because as so long as we get them both in the trash, only one will come out every turn. And that's fine. His power is destroy an equipment target. The knight deals a target X psychic damage, where X is the HP of the equipment before it was destroyed, plus one. Unfortunately, don't have any equipment targets, so that's going to have to wait. Wraith is going to play her Razor Ordnance, and she gets to use two powers, so she'll use that, take out the other raptor, and we'll take a look at the environment deck. Oh boy, we definitely don't want that. Okay, and draw a card. Blackwood Forest. And Brambles. The three targets the lowest HP are immune to damage. That is the Wounding Buffer, Big Polly, and one of the heroes. Start of the environment, turn destroy this card. That could be better, it could be worse. Alright, start of the villain turn. One of the gangsters comes back. That ongoing goes away. And we get Shakedown. Oh, I love this card. It's so mean, but I love this card. The player with the most cards in hand discards until they only have one card in their hand. That is unfortunately Cypher. I have a hard decision to make here. 
It's mean, but the flavor is just so great. Okay, Big Polly hits Wraith for three, and the Wounding Buffer tries to hit him back, but he's immune. Oh yeah, and the Raptor's immune to damage. This is going to be a weird round. Raptor hits the second lowest, which is Knight or Cypher. Knight will take one. Okay, Heuristic Algorithm. Reveal cards on the top of your deck until you reveal an Augment. Put it into play or into your trash. Shuffle the rest of the revealed cards into your deck. Retinal Augment, which is additional play. You know what? I'm going to put that in my trash and draw two cards. Because I need them. So I will Nano Cloud, throw that on the Knight, and draw two cards. That wounding buffer on himself. And we'll be smart and hit the Pteranodon. So the first one goes to the Gangster, who's immune. The other two hits hit the Pteranodon. Alright, play Battlefield Scavenger. Each player may draw a card or take an equipment or ongoing card from their trash and put it on top of their deck. And he skips his power again. Alright, unfortunately, Wraith's not going to be able to do anything. We need dual hits to get damage through on the Pteranodon. Trust Fund. Go ahead and take a look at the environment. Wisp. Nah. Brambles go away. Get. Don't stray from the path. Uh-oh. This card is indestructible. At the start of the environment turn, if there is at least one other environment card in play, reveal the top card of the environment deck. If the hound is revealed, put it into play, otherwise discard that card. So things are not immune to damage anymore. That's good. Oh shoot, Pteranodon gets his other gangster back. On the upside, they'll be going after the constructs now. Leg breaking, oh dear. The Tranodon deals H melee damage to the hero target with the highest HP. Destroy all hero ongoing and equipment cards in that play area. That is Captain Cosmic. And the wounding buffer hits him for two, which goes to one of the gangsters. Okay, now, the weird thing is, that face down card is just an augment. It's not an equipment card, which is surprising because all of his other augs are equipment as well. So, okay, nothing happens. That's a very mean card, though. Polly hits the highest for three, that's the Wraith, and he takes two, which means now we need to get rid of him. And the Raptors are each dealing two to the second lowest, which is both constructs. Okay, I'm gonna do initiated upgrade and actually grab that retinal log because I think Wraith can use it. Draw a card, and he will augment himself and draw a card, or draw two cards. All right, definitely playing destructive response, that will be necessary. Gonna go after the Pteranodon again, so the first hit takes out that gangster, and hit the Pteranodon for two. Draw a card. All right, Defender of the Realm. Search your deck for a copy of Plate Mail or Plate Helm, put it into play, shuffle your deck. Plate Mail. Select a hero target until the start of your next turn, reduce damage level to that target by one. I think he's gonna select himself. Actually, no, I'll do that to Captain Cosmic. All right, and then I'm gonna Rage, so that's got five HP, that's why I didn't put a counter on it. So he hits something for six psychic damage, That'll be Polly. Okay, good. Wraith can take him out. Draw a card. So she gets to play two cards. First one is micro-targeting computer. Yeah, I think the second one will be stun bolt. So now she gets to use two powers. Yeah, I will drop Polly with the razor ordinance and the gangster stun bolt, and then the Pteranodon flips. So he doesn't do anything until his turn, but there you go. Draw a card. There are not any other environment cards in play, so... Mirror Wraith. When this card is play, if there are no other non-character targets in play, it deals each target two sonic damage and is destroyed. Otherwise, it gains the text, keywords, and max HP of the non-character target in play with the lowest HP. Okay, so that means it becomes a wounding buffer. We will play that next to Captain Cosmic, and only it's two hit points. But hey, all right, so, start of the villain turn if there are two or more dinosaurs in play, and note that he's a dinosaur, flip Pteranodon of the Dynamophius character card. Whenever a non-villain target is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. That will be difficult with all the constructs around. And the villain, the Pteranodon, deals each non-dinosaur target H-1 projectile damage. That's gonna hurt. But he plays Professor Sorzinski himself. Look at that. Poor little chuckle fuck. Start of the villain turn, each dinosaur regains one hit point. End of the villain turn, shuffle the villain trash, reveal cards until the dinosaur is revealed, put it into play, return the other cards to the trash. Oh dear. I love this guy though. Look at his flavor text. All I wanted was to make a world full of dinosaur people. How could I have known it would go so wrong? It's like, this man just wanted to make dinosaur people, and it blew up in his face, and he never saw it coming. Okay, so the Pteranodon is hitting everything, including the Professor, for three projectile damage. So we're gonna do this smart. Hit Captain Cosmic first. He takes two. Both wounding buffers go off, and then they die. And funnily enough, when the Mirror Wraith is destroyed, that allows Captain Cosmic to retaliate. Yeah, I might as well hit the scientist too. But then that one dies. All right, so uh, Cypher takes three, Professor takes three, Wraith takes three, and the Wounding Buffer hits the Pteranodon. Oh, right, and I'm supposed to play cards. Let's not forget that. So one, Jimmy Hornhead. Oh dear. One for the actual Wounding Buffer. Oh, it's another gangster. And then one for the Wraith's Wounding Buffer. Carlo the Tail. And I believe that's... Oh, no, he didn't hit the knight yet. Now that's everybody. Okay, Professor shuffles the trash, and uh, we just get another gangster. That's fine. That's better than getting Big Polly back. All right, Jimmy Hornhead. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the most ongoings in play. Three projectile damage. 
and destroy two ongoing cards in that hero's play area. And that, unfortunately, is Captain Cosmic. Damn. Second lowest is Cypher. Takes two. Card of the Tail deals the hero target with the highest HP. Three melee damage. If a hero character card is damaged this way, that player cannot play cards until the start of the next villain turn. That's the Wraith, isn't it? No, we're going to make it Captain Cosmic. Because Wraith has that augment, we need to not shut it down. And then the other gangster smacks the knight around. Okay, we'll play the Electro-Optical Cloak. Augmented heroes are immune to damage. We'll just stop this madness for a round. Whew, and then I kind of don't want to Nano Cloud, so I guess I won't. Same difference, draw a card. All right, Captain Cosmic can't play cards. He's going to take out the Professor. I'll note that even though there's all these villain targets in play, they're not stopping us from hitting the Tyranodon. We just, you know, might want to do something about them. Okay, arm yourself. Yeah, and then I will rage and destroy that plate mail and hit the Tyranodon for six. Draw a card. All right, she can play two cards and use two powers. I think a Mega Computer is probably in order. And suit yourself. And then, okay, she'll take out one of the gangsters with stun bolt and hit the Tranodon for five with the razor ordinance. Good. Draw a card. Forest. Old bones. When this card is play, shuffle each trash pile other than the environment and reveal a card from it. The revealed cards on top of each deck. Start of the environment turn, destroy this card. Okay, so I will just everyone ends up on top will go on top of its deck oh it's leg breaking go figure ah interesting so okay that's a start of the environment turn destroy this card kind of card but since we have don't stray from the path out already we actually want to get rid of it if at all possible all right we're immune to damage pteranodon flips back over and he gets another gangster there's always more raptor gangsters and then he plays leg breaking you're talking with the highest hp oh boy that's oh no that's wraith yeah, so she takes no damage, but she loses all of her stuff, including both augments, which means she is no longer immune to damage. Ouch. Okay. Most ongoings in play. That is unfortunately ongoing. Okay, so Jimmy Hornhead takes out the Electro-Optical Cloak anyway. No, nobody's immune to damage. Raptor Gangsters is hitting the second lowest for two. That Cypher, Captain Cosmic, is no longer... As damage reduction, Carlo hits the highest for three. Now Wraith can't play cards. Oh boy, this is going quickly downhill. Two damage to the knight from the other raptor. Okay, initiated upgrade. I am going to look for the Dermal Aug. I think I will give her a Nano Cloud Aug. Just to be on the safe side and draw two cards. Okay, Captain Cosmic is going to give this cosmic weapon to the knight for those rounds when he doesn't have anything to do with his power. And then, oh boy like now two damage to jimmy hornhead he's probably the biggest threat right now draw a card shit we're not going to be able to get rid of that environment card swift strikes Deals two targets one melee damage each i will hit the pteranodon which gets redirected to that guy and then hit that guy and then use the cosmic weapon to take out the other gangster oof at least we don't have any ongoings at this point draw okay wraith can't play cards she is going to use her power though yeah let's get rid of that i wish it wasn't play it i wish it was put it back on top but whatevs okay so don't stray from the path reveals a shadow stalker which gets discarded thank goodness old bones goes away and we play oh the black tree i love this card this card is play place the top card of each hero and villain deck face down beneath it in the environment turn play a random card from beneath this one then if there are no cards remaining this card is destroyed this card is destroyed discard your remaining cards beneath it Okay. All right, so I shuffled them, and the Tyranodon gets the first play. More where they came from. At the end of the villain turn, move a gangster from the trash into play. When this card is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. Oish. Well, that could be worse. It could be a lot worse. It would be better play cards. All right. Tyranodon gets a gangster. And he plays Luca Brachio. He's the guy who's on that one ongoing that increases their damage. Reduce damage dealt to dinosaurs by one. That's exactly what I didn't need. When this card enters play, it deals each target one projectile damage. So he doesn't hit any of the dinosaurs, but he does hit everybody else except for the Wraith. Okay, Jimmy's going to do three projectile damage to somebody. I guess he'll hit Wraith. She's got the damage reduction. Harlow also hits the Wraith, so she still cannot play cards. The mobsters are going after the knight, unfortunately, so he takes four from them. Or the gangsters, excuse me. Or no, he takes two from the first one, then we put a gangster into play from the villain trash. Then the second one does three damage, 
And the third one, Luke is just there for damage reduction now. The third one takes the knight down to 1 HP. The third one takes the knight down to 1 HP. Okay, okay, if I play Electrical Optical Cloak, it's just going to get destroyed on the villain turn. Our chances of taking Jimmy Hornhead out are really slim at the moment because of that damage reduction. This sucks. You know what? Backup plan. When a non-hero card enters play, you may destroy this card. So the next time the environment plays a card, doing this. If you do select any number of augments in play, move each one next to a new hero, then each augmented hero regains two hit points. We're going to need that. I'm going to add another augment to the knight because he might need it. Draw two cards. Harsh offense. Four? Okay. Three damage to Jimmy Hornhead. And then he skips his power because he can't deal any damage. All right. Defender of the Realm because Rife's putting a plate mail into play. I'm actually giving it HP because I don't want him to die. I will protect Captain Cosmic once again since he is also high up in the damages. Hit Jimmy for two. We need to take the Raptors out, but there's kind of no point at the moment. She can't play cards. Blackwood Forest. No, let's get rid of that. All right. Oh, don't stray from the path. Oh dear, it's the Hound. Put it into play. Okay, when this card enters play, it deals the non-environment target with the lowest... Hang on. Backup plan. Destroy that, not moving anything, everybody heal too. Maybe the knight will survive. Okay, now, when this card enters play, it deals the non-environment target with the lowest HP, 5 melee damage. Um, we're gonna say that's... well, actually, we don't have to. That's one of the gangsters. He's coming back, but doesn't matter. Destroys a hero, ongoing, or equipment card. Shit. Has to be the AUG, because we can't get rid of that plate mail. Then play the top card of the environment deck and shuffle this card back into the environment deck. That's a good way to avoid having it be the only card in the deck. And we get the Shadow Weaver, which is the thing I just threw in the trash. With the Wraith's power, go figure. Alright, so Grim goes back in the deck. Four cards. That means I got a 1 in 4 chance of pulling it out with Sleuth, though. Alright. End of the environment turn. Play this card. It ciphers. Oh, Vascular Aug. Yep, yeah, that's going on the night. Hero gains one hit point at the end of their turn. God, that's creepy. In the environment turn, the Shadow Weaver deals the hero with the lowest HP, two toxic damage. This card is destroyed, it deals each target one psychic damage. Eesh. That's going to the plate mail. Okay. Alright, so he gets a gangster back. Leg breaking, oh crap. Well, okay, he hits Captain Cosmic for three, and there's nothing up there to destroy, so that's fine. Speaking of, Jimmy Hornhead is doing three projectile to somebody. Got no ongoings. Carla the Tail is hitting Captain Cosmic, too. Now, he can't play cards, but the Wraith can, which is good, because she can do more with a card play. Are there any gangsters left? No, that's fine. Gangster number one, they're doing three damage to the second lowest. Well, that means they won't hit the knight, because the first one takes out his plate helm, the second one takes out Cosmic Weapon, and the third one is actually going to go after Captain Cosmic. Oof. Okay. Electro-Optical Cloak. Let's take out Jimmy Hornhead, if at all possible. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Cyber Defense. Destroy any number of augments. Cypher deals each non-hero target X lightning damage, where X is the number of cards destroyed this way. Five. Now this does mean I'm going to kill the Shadow Weaver, so damage will be taken by us. But that being said, five... Okay, let's see. Let's take out the gangsters first, and also Jimmy. No way for me to get this to work real good, but we'll say that Luca Brachio has the lowest, so he takes four for the Pteranodon, then four for himself, and then Carlo takes four, and now we're cooking with gas. All right, and then I immediately start augmenting people again, because... Jeez. Yeah, I've been saving that, but we're going to use it as an augment. Start with the Wraith. Draw two cards. Okay, Captain Cosmic cannot play cards. Oh wait, and I forgot to take out the Shadow Weaver. That hits everything for one, which unfortunately is just us. But it's gone. Gone. And Captain Cosmic soaks it. Captain Cosmic cannot play cards. He can't damage anything, so he's going to skip and draw two. Sometimes you gotta. All right, he heals at the end of his turn. I guess I'm going to play Sure Footing, because his base power is not helpful right now. I don't have any one-shots, but that lets him draw two cards. And then he heals. That's a little better. I think it's time to grappling hook that ongoing, which plays the top card of the villain deck, but still. Leg breaking. Oh boy. Okay, so he hits the Wraith, but she's got nothing to destroy. That's fine. She draws a card. And Hound? Not Hound. Yeah, let's get rid of that. That's not good. And she draws a card. Okay, don't stray from the path. Well, Bones. And we play a card. It's not the Hound. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. This card is play. Each player must discard all but one card, or this card deals that hero five psychic damage. That's not fair. I don't like that. We can't take five psychic damage. Okay, that's really not cool. Okay, um, Black Tree at least gives Captain Cosmic a play. Oh, good. Energy Bracer. That's going on the night. And then Desolation destroys itself. 
Okay, so, when I use Sleuth, it will get rid of the Hound. That's the only good news right now. Tyranno Don gets a gangster back. But there's only one, and one gangster is fine. Warehouse Ambush. I take back what I said. <laughs> okay, so Carlo's hitting the highest for five, that's Cypher. He can't play cards. That's fine. It's not like he's got any to play in the first place. And the gangster is doing three damage to the second lowest, which is the energy bracer. At least it wasn't the knight. Okay, Cypher skips to draw two. Captain Cosmic has a cosmic weapon for the knight. Actually, no, he's going to use that himself, because otherwise he just will not be able to do anything. Take out Luca Brachio. Here we go. Draw a card. Search for a thing. Plate helm. That's fine. That enters play. I can draw a card. Good. Ooh, good. I'm going to reduce damage dealt to the plate helm. Actually, he'll use his power to play Battlefield Scavenger. Everybody needs to draw. Then he gets to draw a card from that power, and he draws a card. Okay, things are picking up. Impromptu invention. Got a Razor Ordinance. Okay, so I need a utility belt. Play that Razor Ordinance. Oof, three damage to take out the gangster. Yes, that's worth doing. And then let's reveal that last environment card. Oh, it's the Hound. It can go in the trash. Draw a card. This has nothing to reveal. Fuck you. <laughs> and the environment plays Old Bones. Awesome. Shakedown. Well, you know, not like that hasn't happened already this game. All right, the black tree plays a knight card. Oh, it's another plate helm. Is that limited? It is. Go figure. <sighs> it fucks off to the trash. Destroys itself at the start. Okay, Pteranodon gets a gangster, and Warehouse Ambush goes away. Okay, maybe we can turn a little more attention to him now. Oh yeah, right, it's Shakedown. That is Cypher. Keep initiated upgrade, I think. All right, uh, Carlo hits Captain Cosmic. Can't play cards. That's fine. The Raptor gangster is going to hit the plate mail for one, which soaks it. Beautiful. Okay, initiated upgrade. Dermal Og. I need the Dermal Og. That's going back on Wraith. He can draw a card. I'm gonna keep that, so skip his power, draw a card. Okay, Captain Cosmic can't play anything. He'll take out the gangster. It's fine. Worth doing. Oh, how about a short sword? He can actually start doing stuff. Three damage to Carlo. He's going down. Draw. All right, Mega Computer, because that will help with the Shadow Weavers. And then I will take out Carlo, which flips the Dawn. And let's reveal Old Bones. Yep, let's put that into play, because that's a fun card. Ooh, good, an Electro-Optical Cloak, and Jimmy Hornhead. Ugh. On the upside, I've only got one ongoing in place, so... Oh, and he forgot to heal. Excellent. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. And she draws. Okay, reveal. Shadow Weaver goes in the trash. Play a card. It's a Mirror Wraith. That is copying the Energy Bracer. We will put that on Cypher. I like how that very first Mirror Wraith that I found, it was like, you know, lowest thing is a dinosaur, we don't want that. And ever since then, they've been very useful. Okay, old bones. Oh yeah, the old bones go away. And then we get our last card play, which is the Wraith. It's Smoke Bombs. Okay. And the Black Tree goes away, but that's honestly a pretty nice card. Still does not make up for Desolation. And that's it for that. Okay, Pteranodon does not flip. He's going to be dealing a lot of damage, though. Oh boy, he's going to be dealing so much damage. So Jimmy comes back. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All right, so he's doing three projectile damage to each non-dinosaur target. Two to her. Two to the knight, which will go to Plate Helm. That's two. Okay, that's good. Now, the Plate Helm is the lowest, so the Energy Bracers are both dying, because I don't care. Because that was actually a really bad time to have smoke bombs come out. We can't soak the damage. Takes out the Cosmic Weapon, and then, oh yeah, and then Jimmy hits the Knight for three. Plate Helm takes it. And destroys his ongoing. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now we are getting to somewhere. Rapid prototyping. Draw two cards. Did not get any augments. That's fine. I'm going to use this one and augment Captain Cosmic. Draw two cards. Okay, harsh offense for a big two damage. Going after the Don. Well, I'll hit him again. Got no constructs left. That's fine. Stalwart shield. And then hit the Don for three. Draw a card. I probably want Stun Bolt. I'm gonna hit Jimmy for one. Deuces damage and then hit the Don for three. That's the most damage we've done to him in a couple of rounds. Draw a card. Okay, don't stray far from the path. It's discarded. Good. And we get Desolation again. Fuck. All right, and he forgot to heal. I mean, we only would have taken four damage, but still. At the start of his turn, he flips, which means we get a gangster. Okay, if there are less than two mobsters in play, which there are, field cards on top of the villain deck till mobster is revealed, put into play, shuffle the other cards back in the villain deck. Not a lot of deck left. Oh, there's one more mobster. 
So we'll be seeing all the lobsters this game. al Osaurus increased damage dealt by villain targets by one. That's fucking terrible. The mobster with the highest HP deals each hero target two projectile damage, and of course it's the highest, because that means Jimmy doesn't get his debuff. Alright, so everybody take three. This is probably going to end poorly. Jimmy Hornhead is doing two projectile damage. Nobody has any ongoings in play. Oh wait, one of those should have been reduced. I'm just gonna reduce the damage because I can't rewind it. Okay, so Jimmy's doing one to the Wraith, and then the Raptor Gangsters deal one second lowest, which is probably the Knight. And the villain turns card deals each non-villain target one sonic damage, then if no targets were destroyed by this damage, it deals the hero target with the highest HP three melee. Oh, frick. Let's do this with smoke bombs, so he's doing two sonic damage to everything. So Captain Cosmic is the lowest that gets reduced by one, and hits the Wraith for nothing. Cypher takes two, everybody else takes one. And then he hits the highest for four melee damage. Oh god, I think we have to kill Captain Cosmic. I had a much easier time with this guy the first time I fought him. Why does it keep happening to me? <laughs> Initiated upgrade. Do you have any augs left in his deck? Muscle Aug, yes. Muscle Aug on the knight. Oh, card. And yeah, I'll go ahead and augment Cypher himself. Draw two. Okay, one hero may use a power, one target gains a hit point, and we're definitely not doing that last one. At this point, the knight is doing four damage with the short sword, so it's time to hack everything to bits. We need to take out Allosaurus. Plate mail. I think that will be best if I leave it in play. So four more damage to Al. That grappling hook is not useful. So, stun bolt to Allosaurus to take him out, and razor ordnance on the gangster, which will come back, but that's fine. Draw a card. Don't stray far from the path. Overgrown Cathedral goes away. And we get Dense Brambles. Okay, yeah, so all the heroes are immune to damage. I'm fine with this. <laughs> oh, the gangster comes back. Yep, still still lower than that. More where they came from. Okay, that's fine. So Jimmy does no damage. And then we get a gangster. Gangster number one deals no damage. Gangster number two deals no damage. Amazing. All right, I don't think he has any augs left in his deck. Nope, he's got three cards left in his deck, so he will just play that card and draw two, and skip his power and draw that last card out of his deck. Amazing. Okay, damn, Wraith needs... Ah, oh, Wraith needs stuff. Knight will hit Jimmy, and then Heavy Swing, deal a target five melee damage. He'll just take Jimmy out, and then he'll kill a Raptor Gangster, and draw a card, and heal. Awesome. All right, Grappling Hook, we're gonna risk it. Take that out, gets a card play. Shakedown. Oh, damn it. At least didn't do any damage. And she draws a card. Oh, that would be very nice if I could play that. And then she will take out the gangster. Oh man, do I really want to do this though? No, okay. She will stun bolt Pteranodon, so that hits the gangster. And then she'll hit the Pteranodon for three. That's, I think, the smart way to do it. Hopefully. Brambles go away. Reveal the hound that kills Cypher. There go all of our lovely augments. I think that's probably the game. Now that he's been taken out, I have to point to this in cap side because that's just freaky as heck and I love it. Okay, destroys a hero ongoing or equipment card. Oh, let's take out that short sword because he's got another one. That's fine. Play the top card of the environment deck. It's a shadow weaver. Go figure. Shuffle this back in. Just gotta remember it's got damage reduction. Here with the lowest HP, one toxic damage that is Wraith. It's really bad. Okay, shake down again. All right, and the gangster comes out. That's bad, actually. That's really bad. Okay, so the first gangster is hitting the knight for... Oh, right, he's got plate mail. Okay, not so bad. They're doing two damage, so he hits plate mail for two, and he hits the plate mail for two. Okay, we're in this. One player may play a card, discard the top three cards, destroy an environment card. Okay, yeah, let's have him play a card, and then use his power to take out that gangster. Of course, then it gets around to his turn. All he can do is take out the gangster. Oh, it's just so close. I can't stand it. Inventory barrage. He flips. Ten damage to him. Is it the hound? No. Don't want that. Draw a card. Reveal. It's a mirror wraith. Goes in the trash. Play a card. It's the hound. That takes her out. Drop that short sword again. The top card of the deck. Shadow stalker. Oh no. He becomes the deck. Means he's coming back next turn. So we have basically one round to deal six damage to the pteranodon before he takes us out. All right. Deals the hero with the lowest HP, two toxic damage. That's going to take out the plate mail. Means I've lost. Actually, no, you know what? He's going to take it. We'll just take one from that. In the environment turn, destroy an ongoing card. There aren't any. Whenever an environment card is destroyed, this card deals the target with the highest HP, five psychic damage. Huh. Okay. Of course, when cards are destroyed, he gets card plays. Okay. That could be a lot worse. So he's hitting everything for three. He hits the knight, who redirects it to the plate mail. And then he hits these guys for three. 
and the raptors can't hit anything because there is no hero target with the second lowest hp okay so the question is do i want to risk a villain card play to deal five damage to him because right now the knight can hit him for three and that's it okay i have to risk it so destroy an environment card we will destroy the shadow weaver it deals each target one psychic damage one of that one of that one of the pteranodon one to the knight Oh yeah, when a non-villain target is destroyed, he gets to play a card, but when an environment card is destroyed, it deals the target with the highest HP 5 psychic damage. I get to pick which goes first, and we win. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it doesn't. No, wait, shit. It deals the target with the highest. That would be itself. That doesn't make any sense at all. You know what? I'm going to use his second one. Discard the top three cards of a deck. Oh look, we discarded the Hound. Regain a hit point, and then he'll use Heavy Swing, hit the Don for three, draw a card, Hero regains two HP. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, nothing to reveal, so we shuffle. Oh, let's see, and this does a thing at the start. It deals each hero target two melee damage. Takes one, it's another Shadow Weaver, that's bad. Alright, so that deals the hero with the lowest one toxic damage, and then we destroy an ongoing card, which is the Arnity, and that hits toxic damage. Oh, the Torino Don's gonna take him out. No, he's not, because he's going to flip. Okay, Renadon flips. Plays a card. Get him, boys. Reveal the top four cards of the villain deck. There are only three. <laughs> Put any dinosaurs into play, shuffle the rest back into the villain deck. Okay. There are no dinosaurs. It's another get him, boys, and two drive-bys, which won't do anything. Okay, I'm okay with this. The raptors do nothing. So now, once again, I have to ask myself, is it worth destroying an environment card. I think in this case it is. We need to wear the Shadow Walker down so that it's no longer the one with the highest. Okay, so we're going to destroy this Shadow Weaver. It hits everything for one, which means it takes out this gangster, which means he flips back. That's fine. The knight soaks it. And then the Shadow Stalker hits itself for five, which means if we destroy another one, it's just going to hit itself. Okay, heal one. He's playing Arm Yourself. Select up the two cards, one into play and one into your hand. Let's get a short sword, that's important, and probably another short sword. Yeah, that's going in his hand. And then he uses his power to deal three damage to the Tranodon, and now we win. That was terrifying, and it was entirely the environment's fault. That was not cool. Ah, so you saw the entirety of the Tranodon's deck, and that's it. That's, oh man. That's all it was. I really do like that villain. I really do hate that environment. And so, not the best game, but a one, that's all that matters. Thanks for tuning in. As always, Tabletop Simulator and the Reavers, Sentinels, and Cauldron DLC are not licensed greater than games products. Please support the official release and flip. Rapid prototyping. Draw two cards. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh no. Oh god. Oh jeez.